Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, our creation of a character, a realistic looking character. We're going to continue where we left off, so we're going to do, the ch uh, I was in my wrong brush, we're going to add the cheekbone. Now the cheekbone it works a little bit like this, you have some skin right here and it's actually kind of flat. Basically it's going to go in a line Let's show you like this. It's going to go in a line from here to somewhere over here. So kind of as straight as possible would be good. Also the chin, it also has some excess skin to make it look, well, like your mouth is sticking out just a tiny bit. And this is not just with me, this is with everyone. One person has a little bit more than the other one but uh, the basic concept is the same. So I'm, I'm just adding little pieces everywhere, trying to find what looks good, what doesn't look good, how to do this. There we go. So this guy is starting to look more like a real guy. I'm going to decrease a little bit here to give it more of the look that I wanted to have. There we go. Just moving out. So we don't see all those lines anymore. There we go. I do see a little line here. This one. There. Okay. So he looks acceptably good, I don't want to put too much effort into this. Also, this thing, you see that on everyone. You can reduce that, of course, to make it less visible, but everyone has that. Every person has that. Okay, so uh, let's get started on the eyes, and that's one of my more annoying parts to do. I, I will try to do it as good as possible. Okay, so our eye, I'm going to do it like this. Just going over the base model that I made already, going over the eye. Now, like I said, I'm really bad at doing eyes, so I'm probably going to give them all glasses or something to make him look good. Crease, I'm going to go over this edge right here to make it visibly different. There we go. So it looks like he does have eyes. I'm going to add a little bit more over here. There we go. And again, smooth out. Like so. Same over here. And over here. So I'm just going to smooth that out. Like I said, I'm not going to use the eyes. And there are probably better ways to do this, but uh, I'm not so experienced with doing eyes. That's my mistake. Come on. Like so. Okay, and smooth out. Just make them look like what you want them to look like. In my case, it's going to be this. I really don't like that the eye sockets are so strange. So I'm going to add a little bit more over here. I'm going to make it blend in with the rest of the, the model. So with the cheeks, there we go. And this probably looks better. Yeah, it does. Okay, it's moving out here. Now we do have a really strange, well I, I have a really strange looking character, I don't know about you guys. Smoothed out, because this one wasn't smoothed. There we go. So this is going to be my character. I'm not going to put more effort into that because I'm not good at doing eyes. Okay, so now the eye sock, uh, the upper ridge for your eyes, that's going to be a little bit wider because it's a male. With females it's more subtle, with males it's really hello I'm here kind of stuff. 
So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to add a couple of lines all over the head so I can smooth that out as well. There we go. And in the back as well. Okay, so I'm going to smooth this out first to make it look a lot more rounded off because it wasn't looking rounded off. And it doesn't need to be perfect because every character has hair. Okay. And a little bit over here. There we go. So you're starting to see some some uh, detailing. Well, not really detailing, but you you start to see that it looks realist realistic. That's the only thing that we're going for to have this guy look kind of realistic. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now what I do see is that over here it just goes flat. I don't want that. I want this to be a little bit more I want this to have a little bit more of a volume to it. Like so. But over the entire head like this. There we go. And over here and over there and there we go. Now you guys know that not every character is exactly the same. Like this bump, I don't need that bump for this character. Every character is different so you guys will never be able to make exactly the same thing I'm making here. I'll never be able to do that either. But yeah, so this kind of looks good, I guess. Yeah, this definitely looks good enough. Okay, so like this. Now, I'm not going to start with detailing yet. This is going to be the face. The ear, I don't want to do the ear, but the ear is basically, uh, where is it, sculpt. You just form the figure of the ear, you go to your crease tool, you put it in on the back, like so, and that's basically how you make an ear. Just a little bit more detailed than I'm doing right now, but I guess you guys understand the principle. Now I'm going to leave it like this. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to give him uh, the neck thingies with your Adam's apple. Again, he's a guy, guys have Adam's apples. Now, which one would I like to use? I'm going to use the sculpt tool, starting from here, going all the way down to somewhere there. Okay, after that I'm going to go to my clay tool, I'm going to go over it, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to make it look more visible all over the place, like so. Now you have it a little bit spread out on the bottom side, uh, on the outside, on the inside it just goes in, and I'm going to reduce this here as well, so it's basically starts to look like what men look like. Come on, just smooth it out. Here as well, smooth it out. And a little bit more smoothing. Okay. So you don't really see it at the moment from this angle, but when you go to the front view you do see it, and that's all I'm going for, that you can see it from the front angle angle, and not from the side. Now you could use your crease tool and increase this just a bit, so you will see a little bit more from the sides as well, but uh, more than this is not what I'm going to do. Okay, so now the Adam's apple. Again, every character, every guy has a different type of Adam's up, uh, a different type of neck. You can never do two, uh, the same neck twice. 
I'm just going to add in a little Adam's apple like this and it's going to hook up to the neck there okay it's not rounded off enough like what I want to now it is okay so that's going to be my Adam's apple around it I'm going to reduce the the lines a little bit like so to make it stand out a little bit more again smoothing There's a lot of smoothing going on, like so. Okay, so that's fine for now. I'm going to press N, I'm going to go to ambient occlusion, and now you can see that some things are going horribly, horribly wrong, but that's not a big deal. We have our Adam's apple, that's good. Let's see with Matcap. There we go. So our character, this is what it looks like. I'm going to smooth this out more. I like to use the matte cap. It's a really good uh, tool to use when you're sculpting. It, it lets you see all the little details that you didn't smooth out or that you just put in because you want them to be in. So my guy is ready, the face at least, with the neck. I do want to have more detail on, uh, on those edges, so I'm going to increase my strength. I'm going to add in a little bit more of a detail. There we go. So now even from the sides we can see it, which is good. Again, smoothing out. Moving out, and now we can clearly see the detail, both on the front side as on the side side, <laughs> the front view and the side view. Okay, so it's moving that out, and there we have it. So this was kind of the same length in video as the previous one. This is all going great. I will see you guys in the next one where we're going to start doing the chest. Uh, the shoulders and the back. I'm going to wait with doing the hair until the last part because uh, Basically the body is going to be the same on every character So I actually should have started with the body and not with the head But yeah, the body is going to be the same on every character for me Every guy is going to be the same height the same body structure as the next one It's just the head that's going to be different and the hairstyle and why am I going to do the hairstyle? Well, you can, it, can add in so many different details, uh, so many different characters by just changing the hair. You can have all your characters have the same face, but if you change the skin color, he's going to look completely different. And if you change the hairstyle, he's going to be look, uh, he's going to look pretty different as well. So uh, if you have visible, visible characters like I'm having right now, that's a good thing to change. So uh, yeah, this was the head. For now, we're going to do the hair later on. The next thing is going to be the chest that we're going to do. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.